to revoke $885 million in funding to deploy, to deploy SpaceX's Starlink satellite in rural communities, like the ones hardest hit by Helene in North Carolina and other places. Fox Business's Hillary Vaughn is live on Capitol Hill. She's been watching this. Hillary, what's this all about? Hi, John. Well, the FCC is actually defending their decision to deny Starlink that funding. They say it's because Starlink did not pass the speed test required for that program. Elon Musk, though, is pushing back against the FCC's decision, especially in the aftermath of Hurricane Helene, uh, saying that real lives are at stake. Quote, had the FCC not illegally revoked the SpaceX Starlink award, it probably would have saved lives in North Carolina. Lawfare costs lives. For Republicans on Capitol Hill now investigating the FCC's move to reject Starlink to see if it was politically motivated. House Oversight Committee Chair James Comer writing to the FCC chair, quote, the committee seeks information from the FCC to ensure that the commission followed established processes and is not improperly using the regulatory process for political purposes. The FCC must ground its decision making in law and not politics. But even though the Starlink speed wasn't good for the FC, good enough for the FCC, it is playing a huge part in the recovery effort in North Carolina after the hurricane. Over 500 Starlink kits have been deployed to help bring Internet back to those hard-hit areas who up until then had no way to communicate and get help. One of the heroes is also Elon Musk mm -hmm. and Starlink. Uh, these, these communities were disconnected. I mean, these are tough mountain people, mm -hmm. but they need to talk so they can bring in resources. Um, Kamala Harris had years and $42 billion to connect these rural communities and she didn't do it. But in a matter of a button click, President Trump did it. And, you know, within hours, pallets were on their way to North Carolina full of Starlink. But, John, it seems the FCC may have had a temporary change of heart about Starlink. They just issued a temporary authorization so that Starlink could work with T-Mobile to try to deliver cell service to some of the, these areas so people can get emergency response, push alerts, and also send out text messages. John.